Uh, and so we're gonna we're actually gonna learn some complicated science at the same time. So we're gonna learn about fluorescence and phosphorescence and so forth. But uh, in a short period of time to be able to do that, I have some black lights. And so here's the black, black light that you always them. buy the year before. You know, because on November first they're about fifty cents, but now it's they're twenty bucks sale, yeah. or whatever. But but you just gotta get your black lights. And and the first thing I think that's interesting is um, tonic water. Tonic water has quinine in it, and we're gonna make the lights go up and down a little bit. So if the lights come down, take a look at this. Notice how uh, how tonic water will fluoresce. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness. So Look there's at some that. trendy little bars downtown that serve glowing drinks, and everybody orders the glowing drink. It's just a gin and tonic, uh, but but they can charge a couple dollars more of for the glowing they drink because they've got the, uh, the the black light that's in there. That's kind of fun. And when the lights come back up again, you would never be able to tell it doesn't glow on its own. It's only no. when it's under the black light, so that ultraviolet light. Who knew? Let me show you this. Uh, here are two little graduated cylinders, and so this is a material here. Uh, almost you'd think of it as food coloring, but it's a material called atomic glow. It's the same kind of dye that I guess they put in the backpack of a fighter pilot. Uh, so if they were ejected oh. and they went into the ocean, it would glow. So watch what happens when we dim the lights really low. I'm going to squirt this inside here and take a look at the graduated cylinders. When this goes in, take a look at this. Oh my Isn't that goodness. just beautiful? And so that's our atomic glow. And so now you can Lava make anything light. that eerie kind of color there. Isn't that beautiful? And so there's our eerie little color. Now, if you turn off the black light, so for example, I'll flip off this black light and this black light, it doesn't continue to glow, right? No. So, but it would turn it back on again. So it's under black light and it will glow. And the material here is called atomic glow. And again, at the end, we'll put all the stuff up on the website and sources to be able to find that. But there's something else that's fun too. And let's say we want it to glow after the, uh, the lights turn off. Let me show you what that looks like. And so I'll move these over here. This is a powder, um, it's a, uh, termed glow powder, but there's many different uh, names for it along the way. This is a chemically, it's called zinc sulfide. I'm going to sprinkle some of it out here like this and let me turn off this light here. So let me sprinkle this around like this. And so now if you dim the lights, I have a little handheld black light. See this little black light that's oh, here? Oh, yeah, and a keychain, yeah. So now watch this. If you look down on this watch, you can actually draw oh. with light. How? Isn't that just amazing? That's just so cool. look at this. So now if I could take this glow powder, I can do some pretty cool things with it. So bring the lights back up and slide the pumpkin over, would you? All right. So here's what we did is uh, the nice, you know, will you slide the box over as oh, well? And I'll show you box. why because we're going to be a little bit messy. I have to thank Ann and Zara and the Spangler Labs for making this happen because they decorated the pumpkin for me. So they just took blue tape and they kind of covered uh, sure. this up and then they took a little bit of this spray and they put the craft spray all over it. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to take some of that dust, some of the glow powder and you now dust it like this. So you see how we dust? Nice. Nice. So now like it sticks sugar. to all of that, right? Uh, and then I can collect it because it's kind of expensive. So you collect it, and when you're done, you just reach over and you pull these little guys off. And now, yeah, let reach over and see if you can grab that mm -hmm. one too. Yeah, see, we're a little bit messy along the way. But now if we turn on our black light, we start to get to see that cool thing. So watch, the lights will come down, and we'll take a look at the one that's already done over here. Look at this. So here, see how it starts to glow? Isn't that kind of fun? Oh. So it starts to glow in any place where we kind of pull that off, you can kind of see that glow. And if you pan over to this one over here, this is the prettiest one over here on the very, very end. So take a look at this one over here on the very, very end. That's our eerie, eerie glow that you can see over there. Is that kind of fun way to be able to do it? So it's just that black light. And now when we turn it off, watch this, it'll continue to kind of glow. See how it gives just that little, little glow sure. and then back on again. So that's kind of fun. Lots of ways to make things glow, glow powder and atomic glow. And who would have known that a little tonic quinine water, water uh, tonic water would fluoresce under the